Hello again. I thought I'd tidy out the problem in the last video. Everything was pretty much working. Right? I got it really good. Everything was working. Except the packing, the card, it swelled. On my old layout, my big one, okay, I used card. Not card, sorry, cork. Then that swelled when I did the baluster. Maybe I had too much water in the mixture. Same thing happened with this card, and it was just. I should have just calmed down and carried on taking the bits of track out and replacing them, but it, I kept doing that so many times, I just. Phew, had enough. So unfortunately, I'm now layoutless. <laughs> And then what I did do, I salvaged this board, um, poured boiling water on it and scrubbed it off the foam. Um, there's a teeny little warp kind of going this way. We're talking about one mil overall. Whether it was there before or whether it's because I put the water on, I don't know, but I might risk using it. And on the underside, unfortunately, it's kind of blood splattered. And um, I need more patience. It's one of my downfalls as a person. I definitely need more patience. Anyway, that's out of the way. Um, I want to talk about the A0 Prototype Pacific. Okay, There's two things I want to mention. Firstly, I want to clear up some misconceptions that I'm seeing all over the internet. And secondly, I want to basically let that lead into the next point, because I'm making it, or almost have done. Um... I did mention this before, but I was a bit inebriated, you know, so I took that video off and I'll tell you again. Okay, so Nigel Gresley made the A1 class, the Pacific 462, came out in 1922. And before that, he drew up some, some uh, drawings based on it. In fact, I'll show you. Have this one. Okay. And in another book, it's basically the same engine with some more details. Um, the running plate's about a few inches high, but it's basically the same thing. Okay. And this was a forerunner to the actual A1. As far as we know, this was never built. Right. But it led up to him redrafting it several times until eventually the A1 was built. Okay. Now. Um, if you check out the the links below, you'll see there's two essays um, done by Simon Martin and Sean O'Connor. Okay, and the very good essays, the points are put forward are very good. The the whole theory is very believable and plausible. I helped out in a little bit with it, and in there they mention the class is A zero. Okay, it says words to the effect of that we've christened it for the essay or something like that. And I helped him a little bit out just talking, you know, just consulting, did some little artwork drawings for conception, concept arts and all that. They published the essay. I then did my fan video, episode 8, and basically put A0 in that as well. And <laughs> the thing is, everyone seems to think A0 is some kind of official classification. I'm seeing this on the internet. Even Wikipedia is saying the so-called A0. It's like, hang on. At some point, at some point in the research, and it is mainly Simon and, and Sean's paper, a lot, but at some point, they, when we was discussing it, he said words to the effect of, so what are we going to call this? And I just typed A0, just thought, well, zero comes before one. That's all, that was, that was it, just phew, A0. And they both liked it, they both put it in the paper, and I put it in the thing. Everyone thinks it's official. No. A0 is just, it's not a real designation, it's just simply something we came up with. That's it. Okay? But it got popular in the fandom. Now everyone seems to think it's real. Right? And for those of you... Um, well, let's just put it this way. The A0 was a real proposed plan, as I've just shown you, that we call it the A0. But it also became the basis for the railway series character Gordon, right? from Reverend Wilbur Audrey. Now, a lot of you, I know, consider that babyish, because, you know, Thomas Tank Engine. But me... I have two main interests when it comes to railways and modern railways. I'm a massive fan of pre-grouping, the really old stuff. And I like the railway series, right? whether it's real or not. But Wilbur Audrey intended it to be real. And he did an awful lot of research and he made it very believable. And it was kind of like the TV series that really messed it up and made it babyish. So I'm trying to restore his image, if you like, in my own modelling. 
Um, but some things that he wrote, he basically said that the character Gordon stems from the prototype A1, and even his drawings looked a bit more like it. So, again, read those two essays, you see that it's very, very plausible that Gordon, in effect, is a modified A0 plan. So, that said, I also believe the first Henry also comes from the same basic plan. That's just a personal theory. Um, so I've been working on a secret project, which is this A0. I've been making, on the 3D, I've only been putting it on SCF, I've only put a teeny bit on Facebook, I've not really been plastering it around the place. But it's almost finished. I'm kind of excited about it, because I want to make some stuff from it. But I'm making it so that there's almost every combination you could think of. You know, if you want to make it as initially drawn, okay, you'll be able to do it. If you want to make it with the various redrafts that Gresley did, where he basically took that parallel boulder off and dumped the nice tapered one that we've used to see in, with, and then changed the running plates and all this lot, again, you can, you can model that version. If you want to model the character Henry or Gordon in a certain configuration, you'd be able to do that. Again, I'm not allowed to sell characters, obviously, but I can still make these models, make the running plates, and then you can just have at it, and if you decide to paint it that way, then you can make a Gordon or Henry if you want to. It depends, it's all on you. Okay? But I want to make the initial, I want to make this, the proper first A0. That's what I like to do. And again, you just change a few details around, and it can be you know, a Gordon or Henry if you want it to be. So I'm trying to give people the choice again, which is what I always like to do. I try to give as much choice as possible, and hopefully we can all be happy. Okay? So, I will put a few pictures on the screen. Thanks for listening.